defense. Uh, yeah, take, I thought I thought today went pretty well. Uh, the first series probably didn't have the tempo that uh, that we would expect, but you know you kind of expect that the first day with pads. It's been a while since we fit each other, um, so you know we got that corrected quickly. And uh, yeah, I thought the defense flew around today. Obviously, some uh, a lot of improvements to be made, but I think it's a good starting point. Danny had said yesterday that he, he really liked the energy that you guys had practiced with the first two days and wanted that to carry over when you guys got in the pads. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like there was a carryover effect there? Yeah, absolutely. Any time that you can practice at a, a high intensity with shorts on is a very good sign for the football team. And I think, you know, after uh, Wednesday and Friday's practice, I think we expected nothing less. Um, the first day of pads is always really, really exciting for everybody. <laughs> you know, we've been uh, – offense and defense starts drawing back and forth, you know, in January. So we're waiting to, uh, you know, to get out and hit each other, and I think there was a pretty good intensity. Like I said, a lot of improvements to be made, um, but the, I'm, I'm sure that uh, they're pretty happy with the intensity of today's practice. Any young guys at your position sort of standing out to you? Uh, Will Lucas uh, is making improvements each and every day um, with – with a new coach, um, a lot of it's just getting the way, like his coaching style, his uh, terminology and everything. And just within the last three days, um, you can tell that, that he and everyone's starting to really understand it and grasp it. Uh, Joe Gilliam is another guy who you see him and, you know, you see him out there. And, you know, sometimes he looks like he's been out there for a year or two. So uh, those two guys stick out in my mind. Who, uh, who on offense maybe gave you a little trouble today? Um, you know, it's always it's always hard to deal with Antavian Edison's speed. Uh, if you get him out on the perimeter, he's very, very shifty. And, um, you know, he can be hard to bring down. And I saw O.J. Ross had a, a couple really good grabs. So, it's you know, it's good to see him with his speed and being able to catch the ball is, is a good thing. So uh, when you have spring break off, what, what will you do? I'm taking my talents to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> <laughs> Your talents to Fort Lauderdale. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm going with a couple of my roommates. We went there last year. So warm weather, you know, beach, can't ask for much more. So do the Florida guys all stay up here? Why the Indiana guys go to Florida? Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of the Florida guys stay up here. Uh, I've talked to a couple of the guys who are in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area, and they are going home. So I'm, we're going to try to meet up with them and have them show us around a little bit. <laughs> Is it kind of a, okay, go hard these five practices, get a break, and then? come back and, and finish out spring ball really, really strong. Is that kind of a, a little bit of a carrot for you guys? That Absolutely. I think I love the way that this offseason has been set up right now, just with, uh, you know, with getting uh, get, getting into 6 a.m. early, um, you know, getting them out of the way and getting everything we could out of them. You know, we did two weeks of every day, 6 a.m., which is something we haven't done. So guys pushed themselves and, you know, it got tough. Uh, you know, we worked through that. And then knowing that, we have, you know, we had a good day today, have a Monday, Wednesday practice, then have a week to relax and reduce ourselves. You know, we should come back that following Monday really ready to go. Good. Thank you.